Uh oh. One moment. <laughs> okay, I think we're back. Dude, I'm back. Perfect. Dude, come on. You got this. Just eggs. Four and counter kills a lot of things in 50. Alright, so I think we're good now. Alrighty. And he's really thinking about this counter big here. He usually just plays Yoshi, so I don't even think he... No, we're good, dude. Oh, who, did he, who, did yeah. main, who did he main before Yoshi? Zero Suit? Oh, okay. That's I a nasty change. I guess he did drop from Zero Suit to Yoshi. She requires a little bit more. Yeah, because I don't recall him getting like super into uh, Super Suit. It was just like towards the very beginning, probably. Okay. It sounds like Lilat's being discussed. He looks like a Yoshi player. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Look at his nose shape. <laughs> it's shaped just like Yoshi's nose. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Just because of how new Corn is, I wouldn't even know how to say what the matchup between Yoshi would be, then. A lot of spacing, I would assume, from both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the way he plays Yoshi, he's going to have a pretty good time against Corn just because he uses a lot of eggs. Mm. Yeah. I mean, but most of the time when he's not using eggs, he's rushing in, so that might be counterintuitive. Yeah. Eggs only get you so far. Keep in mind that the eggs can also be countered as well, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He does really like to use those eggs to come back on the stage and I'd hate to see a counter egg come back to the oh, stage yeah. stage fight. Corrin really fishing for that uh, tip or forward smash. But he is, I think he needs to know that. We just throw Yoshi off. We just nair him. True. Just keep nairing him to death. As long as he's not into the uh, second jump, we have a super armor. Just keep nairing him. Big in the air. You know, she has one of the best ones. Yeah, you know, being able to nair basically out of anything, but taking that first stock with up there. Yeah. It's just casually standing there waiting. <laughs> Glass zones on this stage are uh, very immense. I was really surprised at that kill, but then again, it's the Yoshi, man. He's uh, on the stronger side. Interesting trade. Not really any way for Corrin to get out there and punish him after that, too, but wow, it does get the up smash to the platforms. I almost feel like Corrin's up there is better than her up smash. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it really is. Mm. Corn's up smash is like pre-patch Diddy. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it will if you're on the smash wheel and you have 110 damage and you get hit by that up air, you're dead. Yeah. Your toes. I, I feel like well, like it might just be a better option sometimes just to like short hop up air than it would. Mm -hmm. To go ahead and yeah. drop the up smash. Yeah. I mean, you do have the advantage of like charging it, and I think it has an active hitbox when it's charging. Mm -hmm. The the up air though. Up smash. Uh, does that one? Because I know a lot of her smashes. Smash. The forward smash. smash. Yeah, that one's one. Uh, down smash, I think, might. The down smash just hits from uh, both sides, and one of the sides happens to hit with the tip. Yeah. Uh, the forward smash has an active hitbox, so it's really good, you know, in terms of, like, let's say Yoshi snaps ledge like he just did there, and he rolls. Yeah, that it covers smash two options. Him. Yep, it catch Almost him. three. Mm -hmm. Like, catching the jump would be a bit harder. True. But it's possible with that range that move has. Right. So we're gonna see here high percentages. Uh, Corrin basically start fishing for counters, and I like the hesitation in the air. It's kind of Almost floated into max him. range, actually, too. Yeah. So it's probably best that he plays uh, on his P's and Q's. Cause just about anything right now for Corrin to take Yoshi out. He's doing a really good job of being patient, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you tell. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. Have a I really feel like that's what Corn wants. Corn wants to go against a very aggressive character. Mm -hmm. So when they get sloppy, go ahead and rush in and go ahead and hit that over smash. True. It's essentially or the Marth the of this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Better Marth. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, don't get me wrong, though. Marth got really good, too. Like, when Corrine and Bayonetta came out, like... Yeah, he got buffed. I think like, what I was more excited for was the Marth buffs. Like, hey, we're not, we're not melee yet, but, man, we're working on it, though. Just reduce some of that lag on that up tilt and we're good. True. Uh, speaking of uh, up attacks, that up air takes out Corrin, and just like that, this is all evened out. So even gamer, uh, you know, a lot of people complain about three stocks, but this stock is going pretty fast. Yeah, no, I feel like, uh, especially like how we've been hosting tournaments here with the three stocks, everyone around here is pretty aggressive because of us. Mm -hmm. Which is ironic for me to say playing Samus. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's still a way to play an aggressive sandwich. Okay. Yeah, there's a way to play aggressive anything. It's just kind of a funny thing to think about. Okay, doing a lot of side specials right now. I like yeah. that. There's no, so many yeah. options after you do that side special. It's pretty gross. Yeah. Basically play a guessing game once it's tossed out. Oh, wow. That's what I'm doing. 
He got a little aggressive, and like we said, that's what he that's, was fishing for. That's what everybody fears yep. playing against Corn. You could be winning, and the game's just over. Mm -hmm. So we got the game going to Nathan. 2-0. Yep. Where's the T.O.? I want to bitch at him. He's got headphones. What? Hit him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I play, I play Nathan at every tournament. Really? Yeah. 